Okay, let's do this last one. Was it the last one or second to last? Yeah, last one. Okay. So we got to sketch it first correctly. And this this solid isn't too bad. So if you you know remember our surfaces and you should be able to conceive this. So y equals 6x squared parabolic cylinder is parallel to which axis? Remember our cylinders with a variable missing, right? Remember that? Oh, I'm a little bit too high today. So it's going to what be parallel to the z axis, right? Okay. And so, so we know this is x and y, so it's going to be like this. Right? Like that's in the xy plane, but then with z missing, that's a cylinder that runs parallel to z. Remember that? And then we're going to have z equals 0, xy plane, and then z equals 5, so maybe up here somewhere. And then y equals 8. Maybe 8 is here. So y equals 8, something like that. So it's something like that. So that we got to have that. Remember these, these integral problems, double and triple integral problems. What kind of problems are they? What? They're geometry problems. You have to draw pictures. You have to draw regions and solids. You can't do these. You can't set up the limits of integration without imagining and having a good picture. Okay? So draw the picture. You've got z equals 0, z equals 5, y equals 8, and then this thing, y equals 6x squared. Are we good? All right. Now it says find the volume. So let's review. Double integrals over region D. Find what? Volume. Not signed volume, right? Signed volume. But what? We can trick them into getting area of D, right? So we can trick these, sign, these volume problems into getting the area of D for us. How? Yeah, make it the volume, make it a volume that has the same area as D. What volume has, has this, what solid has the same volume as the area of D? Height 1, right? So it's height 1 everywhere, then the volume of that solid will be the same as the area of D. So then we change this to 1. And that gives us, if we make F1, then this thing gives us the area of D. So we're tricking the double integral that's going to always give us a sine volume or a volume if f is positive into giving us the area of d by making that surface 1. Okay, and then what about triple integral? What does that find? A triple integral over e of some function, dv. So what does that thing find? So it's like... What it's like, uh, it's like signed hypervolume, signed R4 volume. Okay, so how can that? So, by the same principle that we just talked about here, what can we do to make this triple integral give us the volume of E in R3? Same thing, set F equal to 1. If you set F equal to 1, then just like the double integral then gives us the area of D, setting F equal to 1 makes the triple integral give us the volume of this thing we're integrating over. In this case, now the R3 solid E. Does that make sense? So all we need to do is set up the bounds of integration, and then we know our function is going to be 1, and then that triple integral will give us the volume of E. Make sense? So it doesn't, so you've got six choices, right? Doesn't tell you do it in this particular order. So make it as easy as you can on yourself. So 
what looks easy. So we're going to do triple integral of 1 of, so what order looks easy? Yeah, so type, type A looks easy to me. So DZ then? Yeah, so we don't want to do DX because that will, we'll have to solve this thing for X. We'll have square roots, well, plus or minus. Do you see that? If we do DX, DY, that's a little inconvenience. So if we're making con as convenient as we can on ourselves, then we want to do dy dx. That's going to be the easiest. So it's dz means, so we think of this in two parts. We think of lower surface to upper surface, and then the double integral of the projected region into the xy plane. So first part, lower to upper. So yeah, so the, way, so the way I like to think about this is, if we're going to do lower to upper, imagine there's an archer, okay? There's an archer underneath, and he's going to shoot an arrow. Into this thing. So our lower Z is where, where does the arrow pierce the thing on the bottom? And where's that? Z equals what? Zero. Everywhere? Or is it split up? Everywhere, right? Everywhere that that arrow could enter into the solid, it's going to enter into z equals zero. And then arrow goes through. Where does the arrow leave? Everywhere? Yes, everywhere. We like it, right? Now, remember, so that top of it could be split up into different surfaces. What does that mean? Split up into different triple integrals. Depending on, you know, depending on where you enter in the region could mean a different surface. But in this case, no, just zero to five. Okay, now outside double integral. Double integrals are what kinds of problems? Geometry problems. So in the xy plane now. So now we're going to project this solid into the xy plane. What does it look like? 6x squared. 6x squared and? y equals 8. So y equals 8 and y equals 6x squared. And we wanted to do dy dx. So y goes from? So same thing. 6x squared up to 8. As x goes from, we got to do the math, right? So we need the x coordinates of these points. Yep, so we need, so we need x squared to be 4, 4 thirds. Yeah, four, four, x squared we need to be 4 thirds. So x we need to be square root. So 2 over radical 3. So negative 2 over radical 3 and positive 2 over radical 3. And that's, you know, we dream of, of problems like that after doing the tetrahedron, right? So the tetrahedron, probably I'm guessing that the, the difficulty was solving out the triple integral and getting all the algebra right. It's, 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 it's ugly, I know that. But you do one of them and then you paid your dues, okay? <clears throat> Questions on this example. So this will give, what, the volume of that thing. This is our E. That integral will give the volume of this because the hypersurface that we're integrating is 1. So then we get, we get the thing we're integrating over. Questions on this example? Yeah? Can we just use a double integral? Uh, yes, in this case you could. Right, you could integrate, and that's what you end up doing, right? You end up integrating 5 over the region. Because once you do this inside integral, you just get the number 5, which is what it would be. It would be the surface 5 over that region. So yeah, lots of these triple integral problems are really just after you do the first step, you have the double integral problem that you could have started with. Yep. Other questions? Okay, we're going to go back to the tetrahedron that we were in the middle of last time. We just got to practice now. We got to practice harder situations. So I went ahead and solved. So that was the, the Z for the more complicated plane there. It was this one we found here. I went ahead and solved it for Y and X. So these are all the same plane. This plane here, the pink, blue, and black plane. And this plane underneath here was Z equals 1 half X. Is that right? The bottom plane was 1 half X, which you could also write as X equals 2 Z. So just get that out of the way. I know you can do that. We won't, we won't get tripped up by that. 
So what I want you to do is I want you to set up triple integral expression in orders dy, dx, dz, and dx, dz, dy. So I can, I, can, I can give it a spin, I can let it spin for a while, or I can orient it, I can pause it, however you want me to pause it, but we want to get through these two, and then I want to start, I want to get through a new example trying to, to work through like at least four of the six orders, okay? So we don't want to make progress, if you're not making progress, you're getting help, okay? If you're not making progress, you're getting help. <clears throat> Oh yeah. This was zero zero four, is that right? The top? And I think on the y axis it was three. Zero three zero. And then this point two zero one. Okay, so Archer fires. Where does the Archer fire from? From the left, is that right? Archer fires from the left. And where does it hit the solid? Y equals zero. Only Y equals zero for the whole solid, or is it split up? Always y equals zero on the left. Yeah. Yep. And then the and then the arrow leaves the solid. At through what? The big plane, right? The big plane in the front always leaves through that big plane, or is it split up? Yep. Always. Always enters in y equals zero and leaves the big plane up here. This one. Right. So that's your inside integral. Okay, what about now we now we consider the so what is that? From zero to negative nine eighths x minus three fourths z plus three. Okay, now what's next? We think about dx next, right? We just think about dx, right? No, what do we think about next? Double integral, dx dz. We think about a new problem as a double integral, right? We don't think dy and then dx and then dz. We think dy, surface to surface, and then outside double integral, the projection of this thing into the xz plane. We're going to do dx dz. Tell me about it. dx dz. So that, that's from left to right. So left side, x equals? Zero, right side, x equals? Split it up. So that, because that x on the right side is split up in this double integral, we're going to have to split into two triple integrals, right? And in those two triple integrals, the inside integral is the same, because the y's wasn't the issue, right? So y went from what to what? 0 to you get 9 eighths x minus 3 4 z plus 3, right? And so we're integrating, say, some function f here. So now, this is an old problem now. This is, you guys would spend a whole week on double integrals. You're experts, right? So what's the equation of this line? Z equals? Z equals half x, or x equals 2z. And then you've got this point here, 0, 0, 4, and 2, 1. 
Did we find the equation of that line? Did anyone have that? Z equals negative 3 halves x plus 4. 3 halves x plus 4. Notice that that's this with y equals 0, right? Because that's this plane. That's the edge of that plane with y equals 0. Negative 3x plus 4. Is that right? So x equals? Negative 2 thirds z plus 8 thirds. Okay, finish it. Quick, one minute. Just write it all down now, right? Double integral. Split up, right? You've got left to right as y goes from what? Zero to what? Zero to one. Or z, sorry. As z goes from zero to one and then z goes from one to four. We've got left to right here. Is everybody following? Anyone know how we're going to finish this? This is what? dy dx dz. So when z goes from 0 to 1, right? When z goes from 0 to 1, our x goes from what to what? 0 to 2z, right? That's this part down here. And when z goes from 1 to 4, x goes from 0 to this thing, negative 2 thirds z. Can I fit it? Let's say thirds. Any questions? Last chance before I erase. Okay, dx, dz, dy. dx, dz, dy. Can I erase? x, d, z, d, y. Okay, Archer, Archer shoots from where? She said back to front, is that right? And in the back, what happens in the back? X equals zero, is that the only thing it goes through? Just X equals zero? Yes, okay. And then it pierces through the solid and comes out the front. Where does it come out? What are we doing? DX, what did they say? DX, DY, DZ? DX, DZ, DY. DZ, DY. DZ, okay. DX, DZ, DY. Okay, so it enters in the back. At x equals 0, it comes out the front at x equals what? The big plane, right? Sometimes. 
Do you see? What if you shoot the arrow on the bottom toward in the bottom of this thing? Do you see that it comes out that 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 bottom angle plane too? Sometimes. Yeah. So look look at here. Stop. Yeah. See if you shoot it. If you, the arrow enters in down here near the bottom, where does it come out? It comes out that, that underside plane, too, sometimes. So sometimes it goes out the big plane, sometimes it goes out the underside plane. So what does it mean? We're going to have two triple integrals. Now this time the inner integral is going to be different, right? Because the, that dy, the dy is different. So, back is y equals 0, right? For both. <clears throat> but what about the front? So, you want to do the big, big plane first? So, sometimes when, when, you, when the archer is kind of... Shooting higher, right? Shooting higher, it comes out negative nine eighths x minus three fourths z plus three. Oh, it's x equals, right? Sorry. Thinking y. No, it's x. The front is x, right? Thank you. So negative eight ninths y. Minus two thirds z plus eight thirds. Okay. So when it comes out there, so when does it come out that front plane? Well, when does it come out that front plane? Here. So therefore, our outside double integral will be. Or that projection, right? So the so wherever it comes out that plane, that's what's that's what we consider the part that's projected into the uh, y z plane, which will be a double integral. So we're going to do dz. Dz goes from bottom to top, right? This is z and y now, right? No, y over here. So, z goes from what to what? Yeah, so this is a 1 and 3, so we need the equation of that little line right there. z equals 1 minus 1 third y. Does this make sense? And then up to that one. It's going to be the negative 4 thirds y plus 4. As y goes from, so we consider all those strips, right? All those strips, 0 to 3. Over here, now this one is when x goes from 0 to this thing down here, right? So sometimes you shoot the arrow in the back of that thing, goes in at zero, it comes out down here in this, this the bottom underside plane, right? It's going to come out there in terms of x, and that's x equals 2z, because that was the plane z equals 1 half x, so x equals 2z. And when does it do that? It does it, so, so where does it come out 2z? In that red triangle that's projected as z goes from what to what? 0 to this, right? 1 minus 1 third y. As y goes from 
0 to 3 again, right? So it's still 0 to 3 because it's still the strips start at 0 and your strips go to 3. But now down in this red triangle. Okay, this is making sense. So it's like they match, right? So so where where x comes out of this black plane, well, that's going to be the double integral is going to be the projection of that black plane. And where x comes out of the red plane, this underside plane, you're going to that's where does it do that? Well, where that thing is projected into this uh, zy plane right there. 0 to 1 minus 1 third y, 0 to 3. Okay, making sense. Ask if, it, if I lost you. If I lost you somewhere. Okay, new example. Can I erase? So let's just talk about dx, dy, dz. dx, dy, dz. Quickly, one minute. What would dx, dy, dz mean? So you'd still have the same, for dx you'd have the same thing, you'd for sure have two integrals, triple integrals. You'd have 0 to z and 0 to this thing, right? So the red and the black. And now we're going to do dy, dz, what happens? So what about for this one down here? When we go from 0 to 2z, coast is clear, right? dy, dz. But then what about for this when we come out the black plane, the big one? We do dy, dz. That would have to be split because of the double integral. Do you see that? So you'd have the same dx, right? 0 to the big black plane. But then when you do the outside double integral, you'd have two, you'd have this blue line to the black line from 0 to 1, and then this this axis to the black line from 1 to 3. So this one would be split again. So you'd have three triple integrals. One split because of the, the front of it is split, the front surfaces, and then the second split because this region, this double integral gets split. Okay, any questions? Does that make sense? You see that? Okay, another example. Okay, so I've got x squared plus y squared equals 4, z equals 5 minus y, and z equals 0. That forms a solid E. We want to do as many of the six orders as we can for this. And we'll start with the easiest ones, and we'll move to the harder ones. So x squared plus y squared equals 4, z equals 5 minus y, z equals 0. So sketch the solid. Hopefully that will just take a minute to imagine and sketch the solid. And then as many of the orders as we can have time for the triple integral. So what, what, so that's just the surfaces, you know, extended, which, so what will the solid be? What will the solid be? Mm -hmm. So I wonder if this will work. I might be able to do that. Keep working. Maybe, maybe. It worked. So if this if you had gotten to the point where you at least imagined that, then great. The drawing it's I know it's drawing is this can be difficult, but you should be able to imagine that. Okay. So here we go. Let's start easiest first. We'll do type A. dz, dy, dx. 
Okay, arrow. Inspired from where? Bottom to top. So the bottom is? Is it always zero? For the holes, yes. Okay. Arrow comes out. 5 minus y. Does it always come out 5 minus y? Yep. That's nice. So we're going to have... Zero to five minus y. Okay, then we think. What do we think about next? Projection of this thing into x y plane and its double integral for that. Okay, what's the projection of the x y plane? Circle radius two. So here d y d x d x d y is going to be all just very similar. So we'll just do one. Just do d y d x. So there's the projection. Just imagine that all filled in. So if we do dy dx, y goes from? Negative square root of 4 minus x squared. Positive that. And as x goes from negative 2 to 2. I call this function g this time, the unknown function. Okay, preview of coming attractions. What would be a more convenient way to do this then? You could do an outside polar integral, right? Keep z the same, z is fine, and then just do what uh, r goes from? Zero to two, zero to two pi. And then you'd have r dr d theta, right? So dz, times r d r d theta, r jumps in and multiplies by g, right? r comes over and multiplies by g. Okay, very good. Let's do, I think here. <clears throat> We're going to do dx next. Let's do dx. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so dy dz. Let's do dx dy dz. Can I erase dz dy dx? Is that okay? All right. So what, what did I say for the next one? dx, dy, dz. Okay, cool. And x, dy, dz. Archer shoots from? Back to front. Arrow goes in. Always? Okay, so this is x first. So we go in at negative radical 4 minus y squared. It's in. And then out. Positive. Okay, always. Or are those for, from back to front? Yeah, always, right? And then we think about what next? Projection, Projection into? YZ plane, and that double integral, right? And I said dy, dz. Tell me about that. So if we're doing dy, dz, I'm glad we did that. Okay, good. dy, dz means that y starts at negative 2, and y comes out at 2. Always? No. Sometimes it comes out at 5 minus z, right? So when the, the arrow goes in, here for the double integral, you do arrows for the double integral too. Sometimes it goes in negative 2 and comes out 5 minus z. 
Sometimes it goes in at negative 2 and comes out 2. And that, so where it does that is depending on z, right? So for what values of z does it go in at negative 2 and come out at 2? Is this z equals 3? Because so, well, yep, z equals 3. Okay, finish it. So how many triple integrals? Two. Two. Okay, so when z goes from 0 to 3, our y is going from what to what? Negative 2 to 2. And when z goes from 3 to... What's that? 7. 7. So 5 is here. So 7, this is 7 up here. 7. So when z goes from 3 to 7, y goes from... Negative 2 to 5 minus z. There we go. We're not done. Now the fun begins. Questions on this one? Does it make sense? Make sure you got this before we do the next. Okay. Last but not least. Dy. Dy first. So, and I'll just say dz dx. Okay. Y goes from what to what? Negative root 4 minus x squared to? To positive 4 minus x squared, right? Yeah, down here it does. But what about up here? Comes out. 5 minus z. So sometimes it comes out radical 4 minus x squared, like. And sometimes, sometimes it comes out 5 minus z. So right away, that's the, our inner, inner order splits it. Uh, yeah, so negative radical to 5 minus z, say, and then negative radical to positive radical. Okay, and what did I say? dz dx. So when it comes out 5 minus z, that's coming out the circle. How about dz dx? z would go from? the red show up? z would go from that to that, and then x across this way, right? So one triple integral or more than one? Just one, okay? What about now when you go, when you come out the bottom, that's that's when you come out the positive square root, dz, dx. One or more than one? The bottom's always zero, the top is always that red curve. So we get, on this one, we get away with two, two triple integrals. You see that? Okay, so uh, 
it's the other one that's that's the monster. So I want you to for Monday you're gonna do that for this example. Do dy dx dz. It's not it's only a, a slightly scary monster, though, not a really scary monster. So yeah, so in addition to the web works. You'll finish this problem. Do the order for dy, dx, dz for this solid.